Hello, Andrea. Am I audible? Hello, hello. Do you hear me? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Great. Did you have a, have a safe trip back? Yeah, that was fine. Thank you. And you? Yeah, same. No delays, no flooding. Yeah. Good. So has anyone reached out on Slack or do we know if people will join? No. So I will not be able to be the full hour, maybe half an hour, but doesn't seem to be too many people joining anyway, so that might not be an issue. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for joining today. Happy to see you in the meeting. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid this might be my last meeting for some time. That's sad. Yeah. I'm not sure if we should note that to the to the minutes, maybe. Let me bring up the minutes. <clears throat> Can you see meeting notes? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's um, it's four past, so maybe we should get started. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I have found two projects that might be interested in citizens. Y yes, well, um, possibly, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wanted to to summarize. Um, my impressions from the episode summit and city mini summit, and maybe you can add uh, to this as well. Mm -hmm. um, so in the city mini summit, we had two city events talks, one uh, and recordings will be available in a couple of weeks, hopefully, uh, but they were, they, they were recorded, which is good. So I had my um, usual what's new in city events dot four zero dot four. Um, and Andrew from Ericsson presented in a, uh, enhancing interoperability in CICD workflows using CD events. And I thought it was very nice to see a live demo with CD events and different tools talking to each other through CD events. And Andrew made a very good call for contributions as well. And I, I kind of echoed that as well. Um, one thing that Andrew noted, which I thought was interesting, is that. Um, many one-to-one -one integrations between tools exist today. Um, so it's hard to compete like with mm. city events against existing integrations, like yeah. between yeah. GitHub and Argo, for instance, to GitHub and Flux, there are like straightforward integrations existing. Mm. Although, um, um, and, and I guess as a consequence of that, um, of the two use cases, city events can provide value in. Um, it said maybe observability is, is a good area to, to focus on and like the data that city events provides from the tool um, that can be used for multiple purposes, I guess, not 
necessarily observability in the traditional term only, but also in terms of like enhancing supply chain security data and, and so forth. Um, yeah, which I... Yes, I think he said focus or start small and, and focus on observability to start gaining mm -hmm. uh, benefits from the protocol. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I would tend to to to, um, to agree. I mean, there are some um, areas where the, the triggering uh, might be useful, of course. Um, in in the in some areas of IDP, uh, we discussed with uh, the Canu folks, would have been uh, an easy way to switch between tools, but. Again, um, in, in that use case as well, maybe attrition because of that is not so big because integrations exist. Um, so yeah, and and we we have discussed as well as CDF, um, interesting use cases for, for CD events, more related to um, being able to um, do things with with the data that comes from CD events. I mean, it can be also triggering, but um, one, one use case we discussed was triggering um, software supply chain security specific tests, kind of out of band. So not tool specific as such, but being able to, to run this test thanks to the events um, without having to change the uh, Original uh, pipelines. Yeah, yeah. Right. <clears throat> I think you can add on your part there as well that you had a very brief introduction to what CD events is as well. Uh, just a few minutes, right? Because I think that yeah. was anyway good that you revisited that intro because the audience might not, all of them, have heard what CD events is. <clears throat> Uh, maybe from my talk, I can share a link to the slides here until the recording is available. Just a second. Yeah, because the, the entire city mean events was placed as a single identity shed. So we had no we didn't have the possibility ability to upload individual talk um mm -hmm. slides into shed. So. Hi Brad. Yeah, Thanks for joining. Forward for people seen for as well. I think it wasn't too many people joining <clears throat> the the mini summit. I don't know, can it have been like 15, max 20 people in the mm -hmm. room? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, uh, but I thought the, the people who was there was engaged with the event, so we had questions uh, for most of the talks and uh, conversation happening. Mm -hmm. Hey, sorry, I, I just joined. Um, do you guys yeah. have is was there recordings uh for those talks? I, I'd love to see them. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, they were recorded. Uh, recordings should be available in a couple of weeks. Perfect, great. Uh, I'll, I'm excited. Um, what were what were you guys' talks about? Um, I didn't get to look too much into it. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, let's let's recap. So my, my talk was um. Basically, what's new in CD events you got for? And I, I linked the slides there, but basically, it was kind of a brief intro to CD events, um, call for contribution to the community, and what's new in, in 0 0.4 and what's coming as a roadmap for the project. Um, Andrew from Ericsson made a talk announcing interoperability um, in CSCD workflows using CD events. He made a very nice live demo. We see events uh, using um, 
Garrett, uh, Jenkins, and and Argo, right? Awesome. So Andrew uh, from Flux. Do, has Flux, he? Uh, Flux. Sorry, Flux. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so is is has Andrew been in any of our meetings, or do we know who he is? Um, because I I don't think yeah. I've ever. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Andrew um, made uh, the uh, visualization um, uh, visualization uh, demo um, that he presented on on, on our meeting uh, at some point, um, and he used some of that in his demo as well, where oh, perfect. it's basically um, yeah using uh, Jenkins, Garrett, and Flux um, talking to each other, and and then he had. Um, kind of counter application that would receive events from all of them, and use them to generate, uh, use them to generate metrics that would then visualize in a Grafana dashboard. So you could see kind of a graph of the different type of events um, as we are coming in. So one event or two events, okay, so going up based on the number of events received per oh, type. Interesting. Okay, and then what company is he a part of? Ericsson. It with Ericsson. Oh, he's, oh, he's part well, of Ericsson. In a, in a, in a sub company to Ericsson. So they own Ericsson. Oh, Ericsson. gotcha, they're, gotcha. They're, they're Ericsson Software Technology. The same as Elander. Oh, okay, okay. I think I'm, no, I don't think I have talked to him. I've talked to Adam, but I don't think yeah, I've talked Adam to Adam Andrew. Probably, yeah, but yeah. So okay, they okay. are all in the same group. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'll, I'll ping Adam because I'm very curious about um this, uh his, his presentation, mostly because um, we've wanted to explore like like more of interoperability, like that concept in Apple, and see how that works with CD events. So, seeing something like a demo would be would be huge. So, yeah, thanks thanks for sharing that. By the way, that's that's yeah, that's going to be really relevant for us. I think that the more or less a similar demo has been showed in one of our meetings by Jalander. Was it some a year ago or something? Or, or maybe not with Flux, by the way. Mm, I don't think with Flux and I'm not sure with. No, probably not Flux, but some other tools. Ah, whatever. But I think the demo the, yeah. will be available. The recording will be available in a couple of weeks. Awesome, but... awesome. Excited. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely let my manager know because he'll he'll be all over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just to recap uh, quickly. So um, Andrew also made a call for contribution. Um, and well, one thing you mentioned is that many one-to-one -one tool integration are available today. Like if you want to trigger Flux from GitHub or Jenkins from GitHub plugins exist. Um, so his impression is that uh, the observability and collecting data from uh, CD events is probably the use case where he sees uh, more value uh, or is it easier for CD events to provide the immediate business value opposed to what exists while in the um I think that's the obvious yeah um I think that's the obvious thought like when when looking at CD events however if there is ever a case where you needed to swap out a tool or add a tool to your existing flow without imagine if you didn't have CD events you would spend years trying to do that. So I think it might not be obvious. And, and another uh, point to that is that it doesn't happen often either. Why? Because it is very difficult, but a yeah. CD events makes that easy. I think it's going to be a lot bigger of a sell than what people are giving it credit for. I think people just don't understand the in the importance of it um, just just yet. Because um, I, I think it's going to be, I think interoperability, once people can see that they can just swap in whatever is going to be is going to be a major selling point. I think people just don't see it primarily right now. But I think, yeah, give it, you know, once we mm -hmm. flush out the spec a little bit more, once we have actual like event buses and, and tooling, I think it's going to be pretty clear that that's going to be the biggest uh, um, gain for, for companies. I mean, not to say that mm -hmm. observability is not important. It certainly is. But I think, I think there's already so much observability tooling out there that, you know, CD events does give um, an extra layer on top of that, 
but I, I don't think that's going to be a, um, I don't think it's, it's a necessity if, if you will, like, mm-hmm. you know, for instance, if, if CD events, if that's all it gave Apple probably wouldn't even look at it because, you know, we have so much, uh, inner or sorry, we have so much observability already, um, that that's not really a big selling point for, for us. Um, we have so many different mm-hmm. ways of, of, of getting like whole flows of systems. So, um, yeah. So yeah, but I definitely would yeah. be interested in the talk and see why he came to that conclusion because that's very interesting. But but we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. But as I, as I said, I don't think um, Andrew mentioned that there is no value in 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 the interoperability side. It's just, um, I think it's like it it will take more work to get to a place where you can show value easily uh, because you need to get. Yeah, basically, I agree with you that. Need to, you need to have adoption. <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah, and, that makes sense. And to have adoption, you need to do a lot of engineering investment, and so probably, I think um, on the immediate um, value, yeah, like short show, term, yeah, it's short term, it's easier. And I think, yeah, well, if you are successful and you know get adoption and everything, it will definitely be possible to show value in the other area as well. Um, I mentioned earlier uh, the work we started uh, with with Canoe with IDP in in that space. Also, swapping a tool might be mm-hmm. easier if there is CD events. Um, but yeah, it will take uh, more effort and time to 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 get there. But uh, yeah, uh, I think okay. he also mentioned the the well, he made a comparison with the chicken and egg issue. <clears throat> so oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, for that, I guess the 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 observability is maybe easier to. To get started with until there is a lot of implementations in all tools that we need. Uh, so, as soon yeah, as yeah, I definitely think then of course we can benefit from it with the with the visualization or the observability. But for interoperability, yeah, we need implementation in many more tools, probably. Yeah, yeah, I I definitely can agree with that, and I'll probably reach out to Andrew because I would definitely want to talk to him about some of his his thoughts and and implementation. But I'll I'll wait until I see his his um his presentation just because I, I want to make sure I have the right context um but I, I would love to set up a meeting with him and kind of like talk about you know like the future of interoperability essentially because like like I said like for 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 us at, you know at least at, at Apple you know we, we want to use it primarily for for um for at least my, our team want to use it primarily for for interoperability like that's that's the goal um and and I think you know long term that that should be the goal that we are striving for. Um, but but yeah, I, I think you know observability. You know we get that just kind of free with uh with free with interoperability. Um, it just kind of makes sense. Um, especially if we like are standardizing on on all the events. Um, I'm just kind of curious what Andrew's take on with with the current events, the current schemas that we have today. Was that enough? I guess my question is, was that enough to achieve interoperability for him? Or did he felt like something was missing, something needed to be reworked? So that's more of the questions that I'm curious about. Um, did he go over that at all in the presentation? Or um, was that kind of like, uh, maybe like, a, you know, wasn't talked about too much and maybe I need to ping him about it? No, I don't think that was mentioned at all, really. He didn't talk anything about the contents of the events. More of okay, the- okay. Uh, some about the yeah. event types, maybe, but not not too much about what if they are complete or not. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll just... I'll definitely reach out to him. And and so he, you said he's a he's a uh, a sub a sister company. So it's like a sub company under Ericsson. Is the that sub, is the that sub company under under Ericsson? That's how it's set up for because uh, Ericsson people normally are not allowed to to contribute to open source, and therefore we have a totally separate company that helps us with open source development. Ah, in gotcha, things. gotcha. That's okay, okay, that makes sense. But it's fully owned by Ericsson, so. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. Um, yeah, um, I guess um, n- next topic, Emil, you want to, you would like to discuss future? Yeah, I can take that or if you want to say the from the if you conclude from the summit there first on the chain loop and semaphore if you want to say something about those before we end oh, that oh, topic. In, yeah well um i had some conversation during the open source summit and at the uh, mini summit cd mini summits i always go around talking to people about cd events um and one um was from with chain loop 
at their stand. They had heard about city vans already, thinking about uh, maybe reaching out to see if it was possible um, to for, for them to, it would be interesting for them to, to use city vans. Um, it, it may be possible for, or interesting for them maybe to generate CD events, but I, um, I I need to basically look up into chain loop more and understand better uh, what they do. Um, they they work on supply chain security, uh, solving that that problem or like contract paying for supply chain security in open source, if I understood correctly. Um, but yeah, so I think I need to dig into, into that uh, and follow up on that more. But I wanted to share the link if folks wanted to uh, to have a look at it. And also, um, I had a conversation with, uh, I believe, the CTO of uh, Semaphore CI I was in the uh, CD Minutes Summit and mentioned that he liked the, the concept of CD events um, and maybe different from other uh, CI vendors, Semaphore CI focuses more on like interoperability with multiple possible tools rather than trying to um, achieve everything in one tool uh, as the trend we see in, in many of the existing uh, SEM, GitHub, uh, and CI-CD tools. Um, and so he, he liked the concept of uh, CD events and interoperability. Um, and yeah, and that, that's that's about it. I mean, need to to follow up again um, with them and see if they're if they would be interested in integrating CD events in their tools. Interesting. Good, good that you found those to talk to. Uh, I I was there as well, but I didn't really find anyone that were too interested in in talking about CD events, unfortunately. So I can't really fit in anymore. Any more cool tools here? <laughs> but yeah. Thanks for sharing. So yeah, I, I added that point. I, I need to leave in a few minutes uh, to run away at half past. So I just wanted to mention that uh, due to changes in Ericsson or my limited availability uh, and change of priorities internally, uh, I would need to step back a bit from this or uh, probably step back completely for a while at least and see what happens um, from this, uh, well, from being act an active contributor to the project. Uh, well, you might have noticed that I haven't been too active lately either because and that has been a similar issue, but now it's stated that I should focus on other things for some time. And we'll see when things are sorted out, when I could come back or maybe someone else comes back instead of me or something. But unfortunately, that, that's how it is right now. So I, I would need to, to remove those meetings probably from my calendar, at least put me as tentative. So I, I will probably join when I am when I have some time and if I see the, the rare need for it. But otherwise, I will probably be, be out for, for some time. Well, Emil, it's been... Fantastic working with you. Uh, I, I've really enjoyed it. Um, you know, like I can tell you love this space, um, you know, and I wish you could continue I, working on it. But... it is. So it's a bit sad to to, be able to need to leave it for now, but we'll see if I come back. I... Yeah, yeah, definitely. I... And, and please, you know, keep in touch, you know, and like I said, if I'm ever like in, in Europe area, I will, I'll make my way down to like Ericsson, you know, and like we can get <laughs> drinks or something because I, you know, like I said, I really would like to meet you in person. Um, you know, yeah, and like I said, it's been, been, it's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Thank you. Yeah. And same, same for me, Emil. And I mean, it's very sad news. Um, and I really hope you, you, you'll see continue to pop up into meetings and you know contribute if you have the opportunity or maybe things in, in change with future and we'll see you back yeah, um, i hope i will not need to leave the, the open source space anyway because today the priorities i will join are also related to open source i would say so hopefully i will be able to go to some conferences still uh, we'll, we'll see when those happen but yeah so we might meet there yeah. somewhere then it's likely, yeah, we might bump into each other there. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, how do you want to phrase it? You, do you want to add a note in the... in the? I can add some notes there. <laughs> <in> the, <laughs> sorry. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah.
and um yeah to 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 add to that um unfortunately um other um uh, uh and ericsson uh, contributors uh, to see the events won't be able to contribute anymore um so that includes uh, Jalander as well as Adam and Andrew. Um, so um, that doesn't mean uh, that Ericsson is not interested in contributing uh, to the project anymore. That's my understanding. Um, that's still outstanding, um, but at least the existing contributors will not be uh, able to contribute in the immediate future. Um, which uh, means also, yeah, oh, thanks. Ericsson exactly still has a very high interest, interest in this area, including CD events. Um, and that also means that we need a, a new maintainer for the Java SDK, as Jalander was uh, working on that. Um, and I also included here below a list of PRs uh, Jalander was working on that he asked me to review and others might review as well. So we can um, make sure that we, we close those. Um, and if there is any feedback, we provide it as soon as possible so that Jalander might follow up. Um, and yeah, so we finish that, that part nicely. Uh, but yeah, if you know of anyone who might be interested in maintaining the Java SDK, um, please let us know. Um, yeah, so but... like I said, I code contributions, once I'm able to do that, I don't mind maintaining both the Java SDK and the Go SDK, specifically the Go SDK, because I have a lot of experience with Go. Um, and also I've gained a lot of experience with Java as well. So I don't mind maintaining both, but I will need to ask my manager because it is quite a bit of work. But if we need a new maintainer, let me let me ask my manager today and I'll get back to you today, uh, Andrea, and see if we can kind of help expedite just at least for one project, at least just the Java SDK and see if I can fill in. I'll, I'll let you know by, by today. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Ben. Um, um, that's appreciated. Yeah, that would be really helpful. Um, luckily, um, Jalander uh, did a lot of work to to automate the generation of the code. Um, so um, and I think that that reduced the the amount of work uh, for maintaining the, the SDK a lot. Um, but yeah, still, um, it, we will need a maintainer if you want to to keep promoting that that SDK. Um, yeah. I guess, oh yeah, there is one uh, extra item. I think you edited it, uh, Emil, about Oktoberfest. Yeah, yeah Oktoberfest, yeah, we got a, a uh, reminder from Roxanne today that we need to re answer her if we want to be part of Oktoberfest or not this year. Um, mm -hmm. It's very soon, October, and we haven't prepared anything, at least as far as I'm, I know, as far as I'm aware, so, if we have things, items, issues that we think would be suitable for October 1st, we could easily set up such a list of issues and got, get it linked from the CD Foundation October 1st page. I think we had some links maybe in the earlier. Uh, let's see. Do we know? Maybe not. Yeah, I think we 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 did have um we still have some issues which are tracked as Oktoberfest from last year. Um we might um have more issues that have been created in the meanwhile. Um I think there are a few issues uh, Ben you created as well, maybe for the Go SDK and so forth, which could be candidate for Oktoberfest. Um we have some issues which are maybe uh, too 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 large i mean they are labeled as oktoberfest but they might be too too big uh, for an actual oktoberfest work um yeah so 
So oh, I guess there is a little bit. if there is some some developer coming that wants to take on a larger task, then it doesn't hurt, I guess, to have a big thing. But it might be easier to attract people if they're of small and very well defined items, of course. Hmm. I mean, there are things like, um, uh, for instance, having a GitHub um, plugin for for the webhook adapter, or having a, a GitHub application that maybe can talk to the webhook adapter and you know translate, register to uh, GitHub events, and then have them translated into um, into CD events. Uh, those would be, I think very good things to, to have. Um, and yeah, there are some improvements that can be done even on the spec side in terms of automation. Um, I think um, there's some ideas about things we can improve on. But yeah, so just to summarize, I think uh, from my perspective, I, it would be nice to to be part of Oktoberfest as a project and I mean I should be able to spend um, maybe about an hour or so to go through existing issues uh, break them down if needed and label them as Oktoberfest I think we should kind of approach it a little bit differently too because I mean we've done this for a couple of years now I think what we should do um, is kind of do the same thing mm -hmm. except we should also take some hot Hacktoberfest for ourselves to actually do um, to kind of help show and facilitate, you know, that, you know, there are efforts being put towards it, like that, you know, like work's being done, you know, people could see that. So maybe we'll help generate some interest is my hope, um, you know, because like I said, like, you know, in the past, like we've only had like one or two people every now and then. And even then, I don't know if I've ever seen a PR from a Hacktoberfest um, so I, my hope is if maybe we can help facilitate that with, with contributing with ourselves, you know, maybe tagging Hacktoberfest as, as like part of the, uh, the PR title or something like that. So to kind of help that, well, what, do, what do you think, uh, um, you guys? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, we can definitely tag things as Oktoberfest, um, Usually that implies that we're looking for a contribution on that, uh, but if they are then assigned to ourselves, then um, yeah, they're, they're already Yeah, I, I guess what I meant though, is like we would do like the more complicated, like the ones that wouldn't be typically included in Hacktoberfest, but we mm -hmm. can actually make it a part of it because we're more familiar with it and just do it as like kind of like a help, like you know, more of like an advertisement, you know, that work is being done for Hacktoberfest. Um, it's kind of like the thinking there. I don't know how much it'll help to be honest, but I'm, I'm like, you know, maybe we should try something different. Like I'm all about like, if something hasn't worked in the past, I'm like, let's try, let's try, let's try to tweak it a little bit to see if we can, you know, generate some, um, you know, some interest is basically the idea. Okay. Um, so I guess uh, bottom line, um, it's, we can say we, it's okay for, as a project, we, we participate again this year. Um, uh, okay, so I just write some notes. See the events line. So I guess while you're writing, I think I need to drop off now. Before All right, Emil. So, yeah, All right. So, like thanks, I said, it's been great. Have a you. good one. Um, see you around somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Bye, Bye. 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 Stay in touch. Bye. 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 Um, yeah, that sounds good. Um, I would still uh, try and tag smaller items as well, though. Um, 
that makes sense. Happy to do that. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think tagging the smallest of items, even if it's like a comment or a small doc change, I think will be the better way of going about it. Uh, the reason why I say that is because if someone makes one PR, even if it's something small, more than likely that might be the the stepping stone for them to be more active in the community. So I, I really like that idea. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I agree. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll try, as I said, spend maybe an hour or so uh, trying to figure out if there are things like that that I can identify. Um, as even even that that work still takes time to to prepare those those items to to attract people, but I, I think it's it's worth the, the the investment. It's hopefully a small investment, just maybe an hour or two. Um, yeah, agreed. And and like we especially now need it right with with Ericsson pulling it back a little bit. So we definitely need to like advertise as, as many places as possible. Um, which is why I, I want to do Hacktoberfest this year. Um, and, and yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think this will be really good for us. Um, and then another thing too, is, um, I want to set up another meeting with you specifically, Andrea, cause I want to talk about, um, maybe, maybe it could be, I don't, I don't want to waste the SIG meetings time, but basically I want to talk about, um, potentially how we can grow, um, CD events, you know, cause like, I think the, the past has been, you know, like we've, we've been, or you've been to a lot of conferences, but I'm wondering like what else we can do to kind of help facilitate, you know, more, um, you know, more participation in, in the SIG groups, um, you know, more, um, also interest in general, like to potentially code contributions, um, you know, kind of like brainstorm some ideas, um, and see what we can do. But I think things like Hacktoberfest can definitely help with that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I definitely think we definitely uh, need to figure out a way of like, you know, you know, not relying on a single person to be a maintainer. That way, you know, if someone like, for instance, if Joander leaves, if we have multiple maintainers, it's not an issue, right? So we, we need to get to a place where that is feasible or possible. Um, and maybe that just will come naturally. But I'm just wondering if there's anything that we can do, um, you know, kind of help help with that uh, i'm unsure but you know maybe you know make it doesn't need to be a meeting i'll just ping you on slack about it and we can discuss it a little bit yeah as you wish um ben so i'm, I'm happy to to have that that as part of the uh discussion next, next week if you want oh yeah that'd be great uh, yeah yeah let's do that um yeah so we don't need to book a different time and um yeah i mean it's definitely something we I've been thinking about as well a lot. Um, so happy to, to awesome, discuss awesome. It, discuss it further. All right, great. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else for, for today? Otherwise that we need to um not too I've been just really busy uh, the last couple of weeks. Um so I'll definitely take a look at those PRs. I, I told Jolander that I would before he left, but that actually didn't happen. Um and and yes, I'll, I'll make sure that happens uh, this week. And then um, I think I also need a PR, uh, do a PR to fix that, the the Zoom meeting leak. I'll, I'll send that actually today um, for the uh, implementation SIG. It looks like that has the wrong Zoom meeting. Um, oh, so that'll oh, be a quick yeah, fix. Cool. Thanks for that. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right. Then, yeah, that's close a bit earlier today. And uh, thanks for joining. Good to see everyone and have a good rest of the week. Uh, you, you, you guys both have a good one. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Bye-bye. Talk to you next week.